morning, everyone. Uh, this is Thursday, my first day of work. So I'm uh, just about to talk about like what it's like having the new iPhone 12. Um, just the base model, not the Pro or the Pro Max. Um, yeah, so let's do it. Uh. Having the new iPhone 12 uh, upgrading from the 8 Plus model of the iPhone is honestly turning out to be like the best experience that I've had in a while. Um, I've never actually had one of the newer iPhones. It's always been like some hand-me-down off a friend that I bought off of them or, you know, just I couldn't afford a nicer iPhone at the time. But I decided to treat myself like a week ago, picked myself up a base model iPhone 12, and it's just been an overall great experience thus far. And like, honestly, I I don't really know what everyone's going on about with like these large phones, you know, the 12 Pro Max, the 11 Pro Max, all these, cause like, okay, I get it. I had an iPhone 8 Plus, it was, it was cool, it was like a mini iPad, but you know, that also ran into the issue of like, it took up so much space in my pocket and it was kind of annoying and like, I couldn't really put anything in my pockets with it and yada, yada, yada. The main thing I used it for was like, you know, watching movies on Netflix, Hulu or whatever. Um, but now like with like the 6.1 inch display OLED screen that the iPhone 12 has, it's actually like a lot more comfortable to hold in the hand. It fits in the pocket a lot more nice. You know, like it's just an overall better feel. The flat edges around the phone instead of being rounded, that's actually really nice too. Um, it's been like a very comfortable transition. And honestly, between Face ID and Touch ID, Face ID has been a lot more like, a lot more responsive because whenever I'd try like you know getting into my phone after I just ate a snack or something it would literally be like redo 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 and it would just be like insanely difficult to get into my phone and I did, I would end up having to use the passcode so overall the face ID has been very good I don't know whether or not it's like more secure or not because like I'm not a huge techie but so far it's good so far it's good I can't complain by the way, this whole video right now is being filmed on the iPhone 12 front-facing camera. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll tell you a little bit more about this. I got a little, you know, a little bit of stuff to do. So yeah. So as you can see, the iPhone does a great job of exposing everything in the frame using multiple exposures all at once with its HDR high dynamic range. It's uh, it's really impressive how far the iPhone cameras have come when it comes to image quality and, you know, video recording. Like right now I'm recording in 4K, 30 frames a second, and I'm guessing it's probably going to look pretty good in post. So, I mean, just judge it for yourself. I mean, practically everyone these days has an iPhone so they can see the, you know, these minuscule differences in performance between, you know, phone to phone. And the differences, you know, when it comes to a professional DSLR or mirrorless camera versus an iPhone camera, like obviously there's going to be major differences, you know, like portrait mode, any good photographer knows that it's not gonna mimic background blur and bokeh the way it's supposed to and how it's supposed to naturally trail off in an image. So, you know, just keep that in mind that, you know, you can take certain pictures with an iPhone, but don't rely on portrait mode for the best portraits. Like you still might be better off just going out and buying yourself a professional grade camera. It doesn't have to be something that's like, you know, $6,000 
or a professional cinema camera, you can just pick something up for like an a7 III from Sony for like around two grand altogether for like a kit lens and a body. It's super simple. And then, you know, you have full control over what you capture in front of your camera and you get that ease of mind where you don't have to worry as much. You just have to have a base knowledge of editing and that's really not a big deal. You can just create whatever you want to create and not have to deal with any any bullshit, you know, like it's just going to be easy for you. So would I recommend getting this phone and, uh, you know, having it be your daily driver? Yeah, yeah, I would. It's a really good phone. So yeah, processing power is great. You know, apps open very nicely, very fast, very smooth. I have nearly no issues with this phone and it has been overall just perfect for whatever I need it for. So, you know, go out to your local provider, T-Mobile, Boost Mobile, whatever, directly to Apple, check it out. Might be a good viable option if you want something more affordable than the Pro or the Pro Max. Um, if you're not so much into photography and video, then, you know, the base model 12 is going to be more for you. Um, until next time, this is Raw Format. Talk to you later. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Cool.